Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you think that this piece looks familiar, it's a Drexel chest. It should. Last week's video, if you saw that one, we did the exact same chest. This is a matching pair to that chest. We're going to be doing it differently with a whole different scheme to it. And we got some really interesting things we're going to be trying in this video. So let's get started. So we're putting tape on the back of these to cover the holes in the back and you'll see why in a second. Okay guys, so we're gonna try something new to us. Um, we need to strip these top two drawers and this drawer from the top. You know how hard that could be sanding. So we are gonna try this and see what happens. This is a soda blaster. <laughs> and we're gonna see how this works. So if you're gonna do this, we wanna make sure you got safety goggles, wanna make sure you got a mask, and we'll see how much dust this creates. We got the tent so that hopefully it'll catch most of the soda, and you can actually reclaim it, sift it, and use it again. So this is the first time trying it, so I'll probably have to do a little bit of adjusting as we start out here to see what happens. A little information if you're interested in doing some soda blasting. You will need a decent sized compressor. Uh, the compressor we have delivers about eight or eight and a half CFM, which is cubic feet per minute at 90 PSI. And you will need that kind of volume in order for the soda blasting to work properly. Even with Harbor Freight's small handheld unit, I think they uh, require, I think it calls for like seven and a half CFM. So you will need a decent sized compressor, the little pancake compressors um, that you could buy, you know, at Home Depot or Lowe's are not going to do the trick. So make sure that if you're going to do this, you have a decent sized compressor, big enough in CFM to handle doing this. The unit did work well. Uh, we liked it. We would give it probably on the Furniture Warrior scale, somewhere between uh, flipping pretty nice and flipping cool. Um, as we use it and get used to it, we may upgrade that to a flipping awesome but we'll see what happens. Um, the one thing you do need to know is you do have to have goggles. Uh, the stuff does blow all over the place when you're using it. Um, you will need uh, a mask also. And when you're done, you will need to take a shower because you will be covered in soda. Um, also, just on a side note, be careful when you jump in the shower because baking soda makes the tub really slippery, so don't slip and fall. And also, in lieu of goggles, you can get a um, blasting hood, which goes over your whole head, has a little window you look through, and covers your shoulders and stuff so you don't get baking soda too much all down your clothes. So that's, that's an option. But even with that hood, you'll still want to wear a mask uh, for the dust so you're not breathing this. If you have any other questions about the soda blasting, Feel free to go down into the comments and ask us. We'll try to answer all your questions as best we can.
Okay, so some overall thoughts on the Soda Blaster. Worked really well on the drawers. We we're very impressed. We'll be doing that again for sure, especially like the sides where the dovetails are and stuff. It really did a nice job. Did really well underneath the lip here. The top, not so much, um, probably because it's so thick on the top. This just seemed to be taking a long time. So what we did do is we ran around the edge so that we could sand and not worry about getting right to the edge so much so that we wouldn't burn through on an edge. So overall, not bad. Um, we did the two drawers and all of this in a couple hours for our first time out and filming and everything else that we have to do while we're doing it. That was not bad. I, I think it's actually is saving us time and it comes out a lot nicer on those drawers. We're really impressed with that. So we're gonna do some sanding at the top, finish this up and then uh, we'll go from there.
Oh, you're kidding me. Well, as it turns out, we're getting ready to, almost getting ready to paint. And I went to put, to get these metal feet off. So we could put the new little plastic feet on that we like. And all the feet are coming apart. So, so. This one's doing it too. Yeah, and I gotta get you a clean cube for time because I'm gonna wipe in the goobies with this one. Okay. Set. Yeah, I hope so. This is the Minwax color changing wood filler. Changes from pink. I believe to white once it's dry. So we're gonna fill in a few of these little nicks and stuff to have a nice smooth finish.
Okay, so this right here is where we did one of our little patches. So we are going to use one of our Mohawk brush tip markers. And we're going to see about blending this in a little bit. This is the uh, Mohawk pre-catalyzed lacquer and satin. So Cindy's going to touch up these drawers, the top edge where we taped, to stop the paint from going in the drawer. So in between coats of lacquer, I like to just go over really easy with some fine steel wool. Just takes any of the little nibs out and gets rid of any dust that got caught in there. Well, we're down to our final step on this piece, which is putting on the hardware. The hardware that was cleaned so wonderfully by Cindy. This hardware really came out nice compared to what we started with. In any case, let's uh, finish up with the hardware, and then we'll take it in, and we'll show you the final reveal. But let's start with a few pictures of what we started with. And make sure you watch right to the end, because we've got a comparison for you, and we'd like to ask you a question.
It's fun sometimes to see how different the same piece can look if they're done a little differently. So here's a quick flashback to last week's piece, and we'll put them side by side. Let us know which one you like or which one you'd go after. Do you like the more bold black and copper, or do you like the more traditional green and wood? So let us know in the comments. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a flippin' awesome day.